Hey, Scott, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you very much. How are you? All right. Doing great. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah, There's a bit of, uh, right. bit of London coming out there. I'm, like it. I'm in London. <laughs> Guys, congratulations on the film. I really, really loved it. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's wonderful. Uh, you're dealing with a person who's obviously a big part of, of history and you're, the film at the end makes a point of saying that there's a lot about him that we do know and a lot about him that we, that we don't know. So how did you guys kind of find the bits that you wanted? Because I guess when you do biopics, it's what bits do you put in, what bits do you put out? Yeah, I, I think the first thing is that I don't think Stephen and I, and this is, I think, really important to both of us, I, I don't think that we would consider this a biopic. Like, I think for us, this is more of a dramatization or like almost like an operatic rendering of this person's life. And I think that part was really important that it did feel, um, that it didn't feel like we were rattling off a bunch of facts at the audience and that it didn't feel like a Wikipedia page and the Wikipedia page exists, go read it. I'm telling everyone to just go read it. <laughs> but I, I think it's important for the audience to come into the, the, the movie, I think, knowing that we are introducing them to a person. It, it is spiritually true um, uh, how we tell his story, but I, I think... Um, so much of how we told it again, I keep using that word operatic and the way that it's told and the way that the story unfolds um, was really important to us and how we told it. So um, we or I, Stephen and I, and, and, and we both, <laughs> we were sharing information. We were reading, uh, we were reading materials separately. Um, we were reading materials together. It was just a lot of absorbing as much as we could, watching documentaries, listening to podcasts, reading books after book, you know, mentions of like, uh, mentions of him in other books, uh, reading about Marie Antoinette more specifically and understanding who she was and then maybe understanding Joseph a little bit more within that context. So it was a lot of just absorbing as much as we could um, and then sort of filtering out what we felt like would be the most compelling story, again, through that cinematic slash operatic language. I'm a huge fan of, of Kelvin. I've actually met him a couple of times and interviewed him a few times. What Briefly tell me about him, because I think he's just going to be an extraordinary, he is an extraordinary talent. He's going to go on an amazing career. What made him perfect for, was there a role that he played before? Was it an audition or... Yeah, I mean, he's, Kelvin is amazing and he's done, you know, he's been in so many, you know, great movies. Um, you know, uh, we were familiar with his work from, you know, mm -hmm. a, a bunch of, of mm -hmm. prior roles that he had played, uh, but we auditioned far and wide. We really wanted to make sure we found the right person for this role and and we feel like we did. He excelled in in uh, the the meetings that we had with him and and then beyond that, he just seemed to, in addition to just kind of intuitively understanding the kind of emotional journey that the character needed, uh, he just seemed to, he embraced the huge amount of hard work that this role required. Like, you've seen the movie, so all the violin bowing, all the fencing that you see in the movie, that's all Kelvin. There is not a single stunt double shot, there's no cinematic trickery, no magic, it's all Kelvin. And dedication, hard work, focus, commitment, all on, you know, bravura display in, in his portrayal of Chevalier. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, in hindsight, I, I, I think we, we made the right choice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easily. Yes, I think you did. I think you did. Uh, I had so many more questions, but never, there's never enough time in these things. But guys, congratulations on the film again. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey You Guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.